and welcome to another coding ASMR video and today we will continue with the advent of code and I know it's not advent, it's not even de December anymore but I really like the challenges and we will just Let's take 
transform them to integers for every entry in the first line. And as always, we strip the line. We need to add new fish. We need to count down. So we will simulate the passing of time. We need to say how many days. And we need to have the list. just loop over all of the entries, but to make it a bit quicker, we will count how many new fish will be born on this day. And for that, we just need to count how many zero entries we have. have. So all of these will spawn a new fish. So that's the number of new fish. And then we can update the ages. So we will do a minus one if the age is bigger than zero. And if it's not bigger than zero, then it's one of the ones that is resetting. And we need to reset it to six. We do this for all ages. And finally, we, to this new list, we add uh, the new fish. So we append with plus and we append eights. And to create a list with this many entries. Also, 
pass this over here. This and now we can pass it to our function. With to also say how many Latin fish there are after 80 days. And after 80 days there are 380,612 fish apparently. So let's try this. a bit more to part two, but this time we're just cranking up the number of days that we're looking at. So now we're looking at 256 days. In the, in the example that would be, gosh I don't even know how to say this number, what do we have? We have 26,000 millions, so that's 26 billion I think. And that's in the example where we start with five fish. So let's try. Let's try if we can even run this. And the problem here is that for every entry or for every new fish, we create a new entry in the list. And a list with 27 billion entries takes. I mean, list entries are fairly small, but they still take a lot of space if you have 27 million and expanding the list every time also takes quite a bit, so that's why part 2 seems quite simple but it's very likely if you did it like I did that you will run into problems here so let's just try we can run this with, I don't know, let's try 100 first. So that's just 0 0.7 seconds, that's no problem. 150, already up to 2 seconds. You see that this is getting out of hand quite quickly. Now we're already computing for 10 seconds. So, yeah, and we need to do 256 and our input is even bigger than the example data set. So, I mean, you could just run it like this, but you might even run into some buffer overflow or something. Let's just try running this while I explain how I want to do it instead. Now, the next idea.
so we just save each stage there is really I mean this might sound harsh now but there's really nothing special about each separate fish it doesn't matter which fish is having a baby they just all do it at day zero so if we have two fish with a time of three we will have an entry of two on this type part of the list and this way the list will never get longer it will always stay at this size we just up the entries and unless we have uh, more than the maximal number of what an integer can save in one entry then we will not get a problem with this but this is still something to be aware of if you crank the days up really really high you might run into this problem but you have a separate integer for every day so yeah all right so if we do it like this we still running for three minutes already so now we will wrap the part one code and maybe also the part two code simulate days code and we will have it down here so just uncreatively name it part two and simulate days two so we read it in and now we need to create our array like this from the ages so fish at stage and for each entry we will just use the count function because I'm still running our brute force part one <laughs> so we will just do this a bit blind but obviously I have some notes because I've already solved this so there were some people asking me if I'm doing it on the fly and I am not it turns out thinking and speaking at the same time is not my superpower so um, right, so we need to take out the first entry, the day zero, and we do this by using the pop function that removes the entry completely, the entry at index zero. So after this, the array is one shorter. And that saves us from shifting everything. It automatically is just day one will then be the first entry because the first one is removed. Right. And now what we also need to do is 
Oops. Oops. At entry six. Because they are now already shifted. But yeah, we want to add it to day six and this is the entry six two because we start with day zero. So everything correct here. Alright. To this entry we add the number new fish because these are the reset parent fish and now at the end we are missing one entry currently like I said that's now one shorter so we append the new fish and now the number of fish is no longer the length of the array, but instead we will sum up all of the entry like this. Okay. Okay, now I am interrupting this. It's still going minutes now so this is this is not good all right okay so instead we can try our new and Approved part two. First, I mean, the days don't really matter. Oh, days. Right, okay. So these are the ages three, four, three, one, and two. So we have two threes, so at this entry there's a two, and we have one one, one two, and one four, and then five, six, seven, eight, a zero. So let's put this simulation function in, and let's try this again. So now 18 was the thing that we needed to try, so that's 26 fish. And we can also No thanks, I don't want to do a questionnaire right now So we can also look at our entries after 26 days So you see how they are, how the fish are distributed so let's also try for 80 and that's also still correct, 5934 so now we can try for 256 and that should give us the yeah, that's the 26.9 billion fish and now we can do it for the input and these three and then these are millions and then these are billions and then what are we up to? trillions? Um, the German number system is a bit different so I'm always confused how it's in English and I think it depends on if you're British or American I have no clue, whatever so potentially these are 1.7 trillion? Who knows? Many fish. Too many fish to feel comfortable with. Right, let's copy this. And try if this is the right answer. And it is. You are one gold star closer to finding the sleigh keys. Um, we will not save Christmas, but we might make it in time for next year's Christmas. <laughs> so, 
we have completed day six. And as always, this will be uploaded to my GitHub. The link will be in the description. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!